Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Summer Max channel. Uh, before we start the video, make sure to click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I post a video. Today, we're going to be building the newly released the XGCE, the Destiny Gundam, but in high end scanner, so which is orange. Well, I seriously feel sorry for those who bought the RG Destiny uh, high end version for like over 100 or 200 USD. I feel sorry for you because honestly though my perspective is the rg destiny is not that good actually so i feel sorry for you if you bought those and frankly though it is a pretty nice thing that bandai decided to release this uh destiny as a separate regular release instead of a very rip off p bandai because when i first heard the xgc destiny is going to be announced i was thinking about buying one and just repaint it to high end's version and there you go they just released one and said oh here you go it's a normal version so shout out to bandai you did a good job this time so first we're gonna look at the side <clears throat> as usual we have actions we have expandable shield um so and then we have a uh, high end's uh introduction well i mean he he's kind of he's kind of unlucky because you know before he get onto the destiny he's already get killed by uh the Gaia Gundam's pilot uh Stella, stab uh like stab him in the back. Um, so we have the introduction here. I'm not gonna read it. If you want to read it, stop here and read it. So uh, I'm just gonna open the box up first. So I just opened up all the runners and now this is what I got. And as you can see, it might seem like a lot of runners, but it's just uh. Is is separated around. Is some of them is just a very sm some of them is just like a, it's a small runner. So it's not really saying that it's there's a lot of runners. So we're just gonna open up the instruction menu. So as you can see here, um, this time, the instruction menu is kind of small compared to the normal XG one. If we open it, we can see that, uh, the weapons is basically is color coded, printing. So they did give you a, palm blaster effect part so i'm really appreciate i'm really appreciate about it and um what else we got we have the wings of course and uh flipping up in the instruction menu it's not really much to look at the back though we can see some action here and uh, we can see the gala guy as well and we have the information as well which i'm gonna skip so we're just gonna take a look at everything first so i'm just gonna move it out of the way so first we have the d1 runner d1 runner is the backpack wings uh, the black part this is the uh arms part this is the shield the shield part this is the side skirt this is the kneecap and this two are the backpack connector i mean the the joint on the backpack and this is obviously the long range rival the whole d2 runner is the long range rival so not much to say now this is the uh which runner is this this is e1 runner the e1 runner we contain the wings we have the backpack the feet here and then we have the waist part here and then we have some other joint that i don't know this is probably the shoulders we have the A runner uh, shield, the blast um, effect part, and then we have the the uh, anti ship sword here. We have the blade. We have the we have all types of the the piece of armor on on top of the hands, and then we have some part of the shoulders as well, I think. And then we have the torso antenna and the yellow part for the hands options. Uh, e2 runner that exactly look like the same as e1 so we'll skip that and uh, and two b runners i'm just gonna take b1 as an example b1 runner we can see that there's shield there's waist part there's um uh, the blade we have the head part we have the legs part we have other parts that i don't know which is it. oh this is the boomerang and then we have two c runner which i'm gonna just take one of them to do the demonstration the c runner we have the rival we have the hands option hands options um the inner frames this is the i believe this is the backpack back, uh, backpack and then we have feet parts and other parts is just arms and legs joints and then we have this huge runner the boomerang evac parts the beam on the anti-ship sword 
and we have the wings of light which is the main topic and then we have poly caps and also stickers and that's pretty much it so let's not let's not talk too much and let's see how this uh, revived version of destiny is doing <laughs> Good things go slow I'm no same I've fallen, you pick me up again Got your habits, got them too Just feel like maybe I could lose them with you Sinking in and I guess I kinda like that For the first time you really got my back Got your habits, got them too Welcome back to the review. This is the this is so before I start the whole detailed review, I must say that this is better than the RG, way better. I don't know why, but as a XG, it is better than a RG. But why? I'm gonna talk about it first. Uh, RG version, it couldn't really stand on its own, and the wings of light is expensive and it's hard to equip on the gamma because it will constantly fall off uh, if you want a rg and xg comparison between two destiny gundam i can honestly tell you i can't do it because i i put the rg destiny in my shelf and i didn't move it for like what a year i let this stay the same because um how fragile is the rg is if i shake it a little bit the wings of light on the gamma will just fall off and i just don't like that okay and for those of you who watch my RG reviews, I did mention that the weapons, the weapons on the backpack are, are, are like chaotic. It's, it just can't flip to the front very goodly without dropping off every two seconds. And on this XG, it is beautiful. They have a fixed joint. They have a, they have a uh, slightly tighter 
joint to um, let the weapon slide in so you can pose it better. And uh, I personally have a lot of fun with it. And for me, this is a must buy XG of the year. And uh, no matter which version you get, the uh, high name version, which is the version right here, the orange version, or you want to get the original version. But I must say though, this is a must buy XG of the year. It is just too good. I can't explain it anymore. As an XG, it is better. So the only thing uh, to myself is uh, if you want me to compare RG and XG sort uh, very, you know, briefly, I would just say that XG version, stability, maximum mark. Weapons, maximum mark. Um, they don't even they don't even need you to pay extra dollars for the wings of light effect part or the you know palm cannon effect part. They gave you they gave you in the kit. It's just it's just so awesome. I can't I just can't express how impressed I am. And if you want if you really want me to say a criticized thing about this XG is uh it doesn't have much details. Uh I mean the panel line details as the RG and it doesn't have the markings. That's the only thing that I want to say. Uh, but honestly, you can just buy a water slide decal of the RG Destiny and then you just slowly pull it on. I don't care. But I must say though, screw the RG, okay? Just buy the XG one. The XG one is way better. It's way more comfortable to pose around. And you know, okay, enough of talking, let's jump into the review. So now starting with the head, we have uh, a, you know, a little bit of different between the RGs. The RG, you can see the eyes clearly. XG, when you equip on the stickers, um, for some reason, it doesn't look very sharp and you can't really see the eyes. But overall, uh, the most impressed part is they give you a color, the, you know, color separation on the face. Uh, so the little red part here, so as you can see, the little red part here it is a under gay design. So you can see the you can see the red color inside the face, and I feel like this is pretty good. The stickers that been used is the camera at the front. Uh, there's no camera stickers on the back, so you know that's pretty much it. And the head though it can lift up, it can move up on a pretty good angle, move down and uh, side to and a side to side. But not really to watch free uh one eight but not really over than 90 degrees because it was just pop out so this is pretty much the head now let's take a look on the torso so the torso the color separation is done beautifully no stickers required so we can see that we can see some uh you know faster details here so you, we can see the heat radiation fins um and then we have the and then we have the and then we have this part right here so this little I don't know what's this color called, but it's like a purple, like there's a little bit purple and a little bit blue color uh, piece here. It's, it's not a sticker and it's actually a separate part and it all the way, oops, and it all the way extend to the back of the torso. So I I think the color separation part on it is amazing. But for some reason though, I don't know, is it the kit's problem or the anything problem? But when I try to turn the torso, it's very tight. So I prevent from breaking it. So I'm just gonna briefly show you the, so the torso can turn around about 45 degrees. Um, that might that might be the one articulation that is slightly worse than the RG version, but we are fine with it. So. So now we're going to talk about the arms. So the arms right here, we have the boomerang at the side here. Of course, uh, you can pull it down and it does give you a beam part here. Um, so the shoulders is moved individually and the arms can bend up on a good angle. And the special thing about the arms is there's two parts for you to twist. The forearm here is movable and the upper arm here is also movable. Wow, you have a double, you you now have a double, you now have a double joint for you to mess around on your arm. So you can pose with a more, you know, more realistic poses by these two kind of joints. And unfortunately the arms cannot move uh, 360 because the large wings on the backpack is blocking the arms articulation. So uh, it's fine, we, you don't really need that rotation. and. As for the new, as for the revived version, they also have a joint for you to move the arms to the front. Uh, but but just be careful. The arms is a ball joint, so it is easier to pop out. So now let's move to talk about the lower body part. So the waist here is uh, full of surprising as well. So uh, full of surprises as well. So of course the front skirt is not really the surprising because uh, the front skirt piece is pretty large and it uh, it kind of bumped into the uh the torso part so it's not really fun to talk about that and you know the the improvement part is here is the side skirt here is actually movable so you can 
extend the so when you when your legs you know kicking to the side this large piece of uh, side skirt won't get in the way the back skirt is of course as usual it's not movable but here's the but here's the evolution part of the of the gown product so if i just lift up so there's a hidden joint uh, when you pull it, you need to be careful. You need to hold the front of the skirt and back of the skirt. When you pull it down, you can actually extend the gamma's movement. You can extend it by a little bit of the movement right here. So as you can see, so I pull it down. And then now if I get the side skirt out of the way, we can kick to the side, kick to the front, kick to uh, not really to the back. And then when we bend, it is a pretty good angle and I, I must say that I'm impressed about the hidden joint on the waist. Uh, it is a pretty, it is a pretty good design. So, and then we have this lower leg over here that you can move. Um, the tip of the feet is movable and you can retract it back. So it's just like an RG, not really much to say about it. Uh, the overall color separation on the legs is absolutely beautiful. They give you, uh, what you what you should have and the side skirt here they did give you all the color separation as well so there's very limited stickers being used on this gamma and i'm absolutely impressed about it and you know the legs part the legs part and the waist joint is the most impressed part that i have because it can pull down it can the side skirt can move to move to the back a little bit so you can extend the legs movement i feel that idea is absolutely amazing now i introduced the torso i kind of forgot that there's an extra joint here for you to lift uh, to you for you to move down the torso so that's just a little detail so now we're going to turn into the back and look at the backpack uh the backpack though it is better than the rg one in my opinion so first uh it does give you a movement right here down at the thrusters and then the wings though it can, both of them can be expand uh it can move up a little bit and move down a little bit so the wings is not really much articulation it's just the expand of the wings and this time you know bandai is very generous they give you the wings of light in the kit then you don't have to buy it on the p bandai online shop that is the only time that i want to say that thank you bandai you you did a good thing you, you did do like a very good thing and um to put this on though um it's uh it's not as difficult as the RG one because the RG one uh, is just constantly falling off and it makes me pissed off. To put on the the wings is pretty simple actually. You just have to find you just have to find the joint and then you know snap it on like that. So boom, there you go. You can now put it on and it's easily we attract the back. If you watched my RG review before, when I try to put on the wings, it's extremely difficult. And uh, on the backpack here, we have two signature weapons, the uh, anti-ship sword and the long, uh, long range beam cannon. Um, so, you know, they both operate the same like the, R, uh, like the RG one. The RG one, uh, you pull it down and, you know, re-attract it back to the backpack and then you pull it down and then just clip it back into for you to use. Uh, there is a joint at the back here so you can move the cannon very easily there's also an extra joint here so you can position the weapons to a different uh so you can move the cannon to the front and let the destiny use it uh the weapon stability is better than the better than the rg one if i just take it and shake it like that it won't fall off but if i you if i put if i use the rg one and then i shake it the weapon will just fall off so that's why i super glue the weapons on my rg destiny because the weapons is just constantly falling off so now we're just going to introduce all the accessories so first we have a beam shield that you can put on the hands and uh to put on to put it on you just basically need to remove the yellow cap and then you know put it on the shield and then put it into the hand and then we have a shield uh, actual shield i mean the but the shield is uh very it's very good it, it does give you an extended option and a close option so it's just like an rg but it's not but uh the only thing is not as smooth as the rg the rg can pull it out easily the xg you just have to slightly use some force and then we have the wings of light of course as i mentioned before and then we have a beam rival the rival uh there's no color on it and uh there's a that's a part that's one part right here so it's put on the back ways so basically and uh, basically what you have to do is you just have to find the find the part right here and then just snap it on it's oh my god 
So basically, you can just put it on the back like that. So it's pretty good. So it does give you that kind of option. And next, we have a thing that I'm very impressed about Bandai is they give you the the palm cannons effect part. And the effect part, uh, just excuse me, just excuse me. I have to make a comment right here. Uh, it looks like splash. What a splash is! <laughs> it doesn't really look like the the light when when Destiny palms the enemy, but it looks like water splash. <laughs> uh, the yellow piece on the top here, you have to share it with this uh, origin, with the one that on the hand. So just make sure you don't super glue it. Uh, that's fine. And next up, we have the boomerang event parts that you can put it on the boom. Uh, but I'm not gonna take it off because it's gonna. It, it, we have to pick it. I have to pick it back as well. And this one right here is the beam effect part on the anti-ship sword so the anti-ship sword is pretty easy to extend it on we just basically have to pull it down and then you know clip it back in clip it back in and now we just have to look at each individual joint and then just push in push the event part in and that's pretty much it this is the anti-ship sword and then with the beam effect part but honestly though i have to say though it looks a bit weird with the orange color so well that's that's fine I, but, I, but i much prefer the purple one so i might just you know just grab, grab it from the RG Destiny if it's still not falling off. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it, the accessory. So I, I gotta say though, there's a lot of accessory for you to mess around and uh, you sure will be have, you are, you're gonna have some fun. So guys, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. Uh, so for me though, if you are looking forward for a new Gamba, I would just say though, this is a must buy XG of the year. It's just, it just gives you too much too much like good details and it's honestly it's not it's not like it's not worse than the than the rg version i must say though the rg version might be a little worse than it the stability because you know the weapons they are completely fine on the gamma and it's not dropping off and the wings of like is very stable plus you don't have to pay like extra fifty dollars to spend on the wings of light effect parts and i absolutely think this is amazing you don't have to you don't have to buy you don't have to spend extra dollars for those uh, effect part and it gives you a wing of light it gives you the palm cannon uh, i think it's definitely worth to buy and i would say though if you have the rng destiny uh, you might as well just get the high end version so you know it looks a little bit different but if you don't have any destiny gundam i would just say though um buy the og one because the OG one, the colors looks better. I buy, I bought this one because I have the red version, so I don't want to get repeated. So that's why I bought this version. But honestly, to say though, this is a must buy XG. Okay. Anyways, guys, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the Gunpla review. Goodbye.